After a year that's all sports stripped away and so many beloved events canceled, you can't ask for much more than your own team playing for a national championship. Baylor fans will get to live that dream out on Monday after a dominant win against Houston today in the final four. We're going to head out to Indy where Curtis Quill and our sports director watched that game live. And Curtis, I've got to know what were your takeaways because this thing was crazy. If that, Baylor plays like that Monday night, it is more than good enough to play in it, to win a national championship in the first half today. Guys, Baylor held Houston to less than 27% shooting from the floor while shooting a ridiculous 57 themselves, including 53 from three point land. And Jared Butler, Baylor's most dynamic player, scored 17 points, a team high. All of it came in the first half, not one single point in the second. That opened the door, though, for other Bears as four more players scored in double figures for the Bears. Macy Oteague, Davion Mitchell, Jonathan Chamwachachua, and Matthew Meyer. It might have been odd to see Butler go from lighting up the scoreboard to not scoring at all, but for the Bears, it was just another day at the office. Scott Drew pointed out it's nothing new, just time to find a different guy to make a shot. First half, he was rolling. People did a good job finding him. Second half, uh, he did a great job uh, not forcing things, and other people got going, and uh, that's kind of what we've done all year long. They were doubling basically off the ball screen, and, um, you know, just, it just gave me an opportunity to hit other guys. And, um, like, Macy O.T. stepped up in the second half, and um, John stepped up and Flo. Drew said yesterday the Bears would stick with what got them here to win. That's exactly what they did and what I expect they will do in Monday night's national championship game. There was a massive green and gold contingent.